Saturday's Superfly 3 card at the Forum in Los Angeles easily could have been a landmark moment for Filipino boxing. Four Filipino pugs were contending for championships, including Donnie Nietzsche and Aston Palacht, who were vying for the vacant WBO Superflyweight World Championship. In the end however, none of them ended up with with any hardware. With an all-Filipino matchup for the WBO's 115-pound crown, it was considered a given that a Pinoy would be crowned world champion. And then, the judges came into play. After 12 rounds of action from both contenders, many believed that Nietzsche was well on his way to capturing a fourth world championship in as many weight classes. Instead, one judge scored the fight in favor of Palacht, one judge scored it in favor of Nietzsche, and the third judge saw it go to a draw, leading to a split draw decision. Sa Tinjan Ko Panalo Talaga Eko, Nietzsche shared with ABS CBN's Steve Angelis. Piero Yanang Nikita Talaga and Jim Ga judge, Wala Na Teong Magagawa Dune. Judge's decision. After an early onslaught from the younger, taller, and rangier Palacht, Nietzsche used his speed, movement, and experience to outbox his rival for what appeared to be the majority of the 12 round contest. As for Palacht, the 27 year old native of Bago City showed that he was a force to be reckoned with in the division after using HS range and his strength to do some damage on Nietzsche. Still, he believes that he's got more work to do. Pinakita Koyang Best Co., but Kulang Pa, Kulang Pa Talaga, Palak shared. Kung 100% Ako Talaga, Mananalo. A na draw, so I big Sabahin may Kulang Pa. Dot sharing the ring with arguably one of the best Filipino boxers in history is invaluable experience, and that fact isn't lost on the Roy Jones Jr. Promoted talent. Masaya Aiko, Basta Nakalab and Koyang Best Boxers Sa Mundo. Ayanasi Dani, Hindi Basta Basta Si Dani. Three time world champion Sietska, longest reigning, so proud Eko Sasarili Kosa Laban, Kasi Lahit Masaya. Dot Seguro May Kulang Perin Kasi Naging Draw. Palakt added. Dot after the matchup, Nihits, Palakt, and their respective teams shared a moment of respect backstage. With the WBO Super Flyweight World Championship still vacant, it's highly likely. That Nietzsche and Palak get a second go around for the championship. We'll sit down and see what we can do. Right now, it's still vacant, said ALA Promotions CEO Michael Aldiger. We'll see, I'll try to talk to the WBO and see what happens there and think of it and maybe what's next. Aldiger adds that he too believes a rematch is the likely course of action. There's always that way, because it's still a vacant title right now, and the usual procedure is they call for a rematch. The ALA promotions head honcho, however, couldn't hide his disappointment for what transpired. With Donnie now, him being 36 and trying to get head fourth division title, he won it tonight. It's just sad that he didn't. Dot in the undercards, a pair of Pinoys also missed out on bringing home belts, both losing via split decision. Bruno Escalante, a Cebuano who's based in the US, fell to Romanian Alexandru Marin for the IBF Intercontinental Super Flyweight Championship, while Filipino Australian Luisa Houghton came up short in her WBC Interim Women's Atom Way Championship against Mexican Brenda Flores. I was the aggressor, I feel like I dominated her, and I should have gotten that win. I should be holding that tile over my shoulder right now. A visibly disappointed Houghton said after the bout.